It is way back in the winter of 72. I was down in Houston with nothing to do, just a moving along and taking my ease when I spied something there through a grove of trees. A big oblong hog pen in a concrete field. Autos all around, just as thick as hogs. Now, Grandpa's a downright curious guy, and I figure there's something I can't pass by. So I join the crowd there milling around, and a stranger bunch of folks has never been found. I first off thought, now here's a county fair, but then I saw women with purple hair. There was folks wearing horns like a billy goat, and an overgrown fish on a handle to tote. Yeah. Now, I've been down on the funny farm a couple of times, but I never seen nothing like that in my life. What kind of deal is this, I said. I'd a whole lot rather be home instead. But everywhere folks kept a swarming on through, and I got mashed in the middle. So what could I do? Yep, I got carried right on into the hog pen. I did against my will, of course. Yeah. The crazies come in and set the cells down, except for a couple just a wandering around. There was bound to be trouble here by and by, cause them goats and fish didn't see eye to eye. Just a poking at one another and getting all hit up, like they's gonna bite. But of all the sights I seen that day, the next one beat them all, I'd say. A jailbird leading a herd of men that started up all of that hoopla again. Why, them yahoos wore some mighty funny suits with space helmets on. Some for the goats and some for the fish. Yeah, they was big all right and ugly and mean and commenced to brawling like I've never seen. Big mobs are chasing this squashed up ball. It just don't make no sense at all. And that ball was just a scrawny little feller, but all of them old burly boys sure did want to get a hold of it, I'll tell you that. There's one old boy amongst all the rest who loved to tote that ball the best. Had a hold of that devil the whole dang day, just a romping and a stomping them that got in his way. <laughs> Had a big 3-9 on the back of his shirt and the word written there, and it must have meant hurt. Kasonka, it said. And he kasonka the living daylights out of all them folks with horns on the hat. <laughs> he kasonkered up and down that plastic rug till he got to the end where he got a big hug. The fish was happy as a fox in the coop, but them fellas with horns was all starting to droop. <laughs> Yeah, them bitty goats didn't appear to feel that well at all. Like maybe they'd swallowed something nasty. I still ain't figured what their fighting's about when they got up and quit and hightailed it out. Now, there's some unusual things in this world of ours, like airplanes and motor cars, but I've never seen nothing this side of heaven like that Super Bowl V-111. And I'm gonna get my hat and coat and get out of here. I don't never want to see this place again. Now, sir, wildest deal ever I seen.